Hi, welcome to this episode of Wild Glove Geography. Today we're looking at general knowledge and places, with a particular focus on the world continents, the oceans and the countries. So here's the first one of our overview introductions today about the continents, the oceans and the countries. We've got on the screen the different continents, we've got what we're going to cover today, the mild, the spicy and the hot. Uh, just beware that when you look at the world, often as a map like you see there at the top right, uh, it's a flattened out version of a globe, so a globe is the spherical representation of the Earth. On the bottom left, you've got an image of Antarctica. Now Antarctica, that's imagining you're looking up at the bottom of the Earth or the bottom of the globe. So clearly it's very different. It looks very different than that blue continent at the bottom. But it's a case of how do you unwrap the globe to fit onto a flat piece of paper? So Antarctica is mainly land surrounded by water. Then at the top left there, you've got the Arctic. Again, it looks very different looking down at the top of those nations. The Arctic is mainly water, but it's surrounded by land, so almost in some ways the inverse of Antarctica. So, on the previous slide we talked about the difficulties of unwrapping a globe to show it on a flat piece of paper. And we've got two what's called projections, so depending how you unwrap it, it's called a projection. On the left hand side, we've got what's called the Mercator projection, and that's the one that probably most people are familiar with the most. The good thing about the Mercator projection is the shape of the countries is retained. However, the difficulty with the Mercator projection is this. If you look at Africa here, and you look at Greenland there, it rather appears that Greenland is bigger than Africa, and it's not, it's many times smaller than Africa because what's happened is the top and the bottom have been stretched out so that the shape of the countries is retained. Then on the top right you have what's called the Peters projection or the Gold Peters projection and some of the countries the continents look a bit of an odd shape. The shapes are a bit odd but the land mass is correct so again if we look at Africa here and we look at Greenland here the proportion of those is exactly correct. So you can see that Greenland isn't actually uh, the same size as Africa or even bigger. So there's no perfect way of showing a globe onto a flat piece of paper. Here's another issue. When we see maps, we're, they're called what's called centric maps. So at the bottom uh, here, we have a map that probably if you were in a school in the USA, you'll be familiar with a map like that because most countries like to put themselves in the center of the map. So USA in the center of the map there. If you're in a school in Australia, we are now looking at the center map. So Australia is there. You'll probably be familiar with looking at a map like that. And that's fine. You've just got all the world around. You can see them all, all the world around you, but they've separated the Atlantic Ocean. We're most used to seeing a map like this. So we are there and we've got the USA, uh, the North America and South America to the west. We've got Asia to the east and we've decided to split the Pacific Ocean. So depending where you live, it can be a North America centric map, an Australia centric map or a UK centric map. It just depends where you put your cut so you unwrap it at a certain place. And some you'll be familiar with, some you won't be familiar with. So here we're looking at the continents. There are seven continents in the world. A continent is just a landmass. And generally, even though a continent is a landmass, the islands that are closest to that landmass are grouped in with that continent. So we have Europe as a continent here. As we've talked about in a previous uh, PowerPoint presentation, generally, uh, Europe is separated from the rest of Asia by the Ural Mountains. So the country of Russia, part of the country of Russia is in the continent of Europe, part of the country of Russia is in the continent of Asia, and it's the Ural Mountains, so U-R-A-L, the Ural Mountains separates. Then we have Asia, that's by far the largest uh, continent that we have. Then we have North America, 
then we have Africa, we have South America, and we have Antarctica. Now before we've talked about Antarctica and um, we said it's not really that shape because of the way that the earth has been spread out from the globe and spread out onto a flat piece of paper it's more of a kind of a circular shape so if you go back a little bit you'll see the actual shape of Antarctica. Now we've got the last continent here. The last continent, the actual landmass, is the continent of Australia. However that doesn't include lots of islands around it. So. Australasia is sometimes called the continent because that includes the areas around it. Some people also call it Oceania because that includes lots of islands around here, such as Micronesia, so it includes those as well. So Australia can be a bit of a confusing one. The actual landmass is Australia, but the continent is Australasia, and depending what else you include, it could be called Oceania. Any of those are interchangeable. Then we have the oceans of the world. We've got the Atlantic Ocean, which is this area here. Then we have the Indian Ocean, which is this area here. We've got the Pacific Ocean. Now due to this projection and the way that the map has been cut, the Pacific is here. And of course, it's over here as well because the whole world joins up. The Southern Ocean is this area here, just north of Antarctica. So there we've covered the oceans today. So let's look at some of the main countries on the map. These, we've just chosen these at random. Uh, they might be the ones you're most familiar with. So we start off with the UK. So the UK is located up there. Then we have the USA. Then we have China. We have Brazil. We have Canada. We have Kenya, we have Germany, we have New Zealand, and we have South Africa. So I think we've got all those ones covered there. You might need to zoom in a little bit to see those, or if you want to get your own atlas or do your own research, those are all pretty easier to find. And of course we have India there. <laughs> 